Welcome and thank you for watching Cooking with Ash. I hope you guys are enjoying all the amazing recipes I have been posted. If you're loving those recipes, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't liked and subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button below. I've, pre I've prepared an amazing recipe for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get right into the video. Hi guys, thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy all the content I have here for you guys. Today's recipe is going to be my favorite. That's right, growing up in Guyana, I love fish egg. Okay, right? Did I get you guys excited about that one? Yep, so I love fish egg, any kind of fish egg, whether it's catfish, Puri, Karas, Gilbaka, or Snapper, you give it to me, I'll eat that. I love a fish egg. So, I'm in this group, and one of the girls living in Guyana, she posted fish egg curry with catfish inside. I was literally drooling, okay? I had a comment on her, her post and let her know that I will be hunting down fish egg in Connecticut, okay? <laughs> So I got me some fish egg girl and I'll be making some fish egg curry. So this is how I prepare mine. Simple ingredients as we all use in curry. I have here some tomato, where we're pepper. I'm using some sour tamarind. I'm using some onion, cilantro, scallion. And this is some of my green seasoning I have in this bowl here. Some total seasoning, some turmeric, garam masala, curry powder. And the star of the show is, guys, some Gilbacker fish egg. Yum. Who's drooling already? So I already went ahead and washed mine with some lemon, a little bit of vinegar to carry, like, get out that rankness from it and a little bit of salt. So the first step, how I do mine, I don't know how you guys prepare yours, but um, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know if this is how you prepare yours too. And how do you enjoy yours and what kind of fish egg you like so i have a pot on the stove already with water boiling i usually steam it out a little bit before i am um, actually bungee it so let's get over to the stove and start the cooking process guys okay guys so today we're multitasking as you can see i already have my water boiling there i'm gonna go ahead and drop the eggs in here and i don't steam it for too long because we do not want to overcook this egg I just steam it probably for about a five minutes or so and then I'll pull it out. And in the meantime, I have my oil here heating up for my, um, my masala. So I want to make sure to steam nice. And guys, um, all eggs cook differently fish eggs so catfish egg take longer to cook like the the um it takes longer to cook and, and get hard whereas gilbaka egg cook faster so you have to like monitor that time because if you overcook the egg you're gonna have like hard chewy egg and nobody likes that i don't like mine where you, when you cook it like when you bite into it like it pops in your mouth i don't like mine like that i like it a little bit of like form but not too chewy and hard so what can i say al dente egg in between not too hard and not too soft so um for the gilbaca i'll steam it a little bit and then i'll bungee it with my masala so i'll see you guys back as soon as my oil is ready for my um my other ingredients okay guys so my oil is hot and it's ready for all my herbs and aromatics that i'm gonna add into it Get everything in there. So guys, I went ahead and saved a little bit of the scallion and tomato. I am going to put that when the curry is almost finished. I'm going to put it on top to steam. That's how I like mine, like a little bit of it. So I'm going to go ahead now, guys, and I'm going to add my masala to this. It's 
frying up our masala so all the spices like um, burst and all the flavors come in here and I am going to go ahead and add some salt and remember guys salt to taste I'll put in the description box how much I use but salt is to your liking and how much you prefer in your food so I'm gonna go ahead and add some water here guys and I'm adding like two cups of water to this because I want my masala to real bungee cook good so I'm gonna leave this to do its thing meaning the water is going to cook there with the masala and it's going to evaporate down and it's going to come back to the consistency of the masala that we had so we're going to leave this to do its thing i'm going to come back and show you guys what our masala is looking at like and when we're adding our steam fish egg guys the fish egg steam for four minutes exactly so see you guys soon okay guys this is what our masala is looking like how do we know it's ready because look at this you see how the masala is pulling away from the oil that tells you right now that it's ready it bunja really well or bunjal see that guys and when it starts sticking too that's an indication that it's ready for if you're cooking fish meat whatever you're cooking that's how you know your masala is ready so masala is ready for our egg and in goes our egg and this is what our egg look like guys it's steam four minutes and I'm gonna time it so you guys know how long it takes to cook so you can get perfect fish egg curry every time so I'm gonna let this bungee a little bit with the masala start to suck up the masala and then I'm gonna add some water and let this start boiling same thing if you're going to make this if you're going to add it to fish curry I would say you do the same step you let your fish fish start a bungee before you add the egg the same step is um, applied I know some people just wait until they finish bungee their curry put their fish and add water and everything and that's when they put the egg in but um, you can do it that way or you can do it this way anyway it's up to you so I'm gonna let this work its thing up let the flavors infuse into the egg and then i'm going to add water and we're gonna cook it finish cooking it okay up guys so it's been about four minutes now that it's egg is um bungee with this masala so i am going to go ahead now and add my water and let this cook let it boil and again guys everything i'm using will be listed in the description box below along with measurements So guys we are going to bring this up to a boil and when my egg is cooked I am going to take it off and I'm going to show you guys what it's looking like and I will also let you guys know how long this take to cook I'm going to pop a lid on and let it let it boil so see you guys soon okay guys so time to go check on our curry let's see how it's doing it's looking good so far so the eggs outside of the bag oh come here so this is what I'm looking for for mine guys so it's not too soft it's not too hard so the ones in the bag still need to cook a little bit more but the ones that are outside of the bag they already cooked so I don't want it to overcook too much what I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna go ahead and split the bag open so it could start cooking inside of there so I'm gonna give this probably about a minute or two more guys and um, now I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the tomatoes I have and the scallion and let it steam on top of here and this been on about um, let me see guys let me check my timer it's been on about seven minutes now so it's almost there guys it's almost finished i would give it like about two to three minutes more and this is going to be completely finished so i am going to come back and plate this up and let you guys see what it's looking like so guys here you have it our finish 
Gail Baca egg curry. Look how beautiful it's looking. Are you drooling yet? Let me help you wipe that drool. <laughs> so here you have it, guys. And this curry cook exactly 10 minutes. I had to open some of the bags because um, the eggs outside were cooking faster than the ones that were enclosed in the bag. So do that if you're going to be making this. Make sure you pay attention throughout the cooking process because some cook faster than some. So you have to open the bag. I would advise just open the bags and um, let the, um, like I put a slit on it and let the boiling curry seep into it. It's going to flavor more that way and it's going to cook better too that way. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Please do not forget to share this video with your friends and family. Please like and subscribe for more amazing recipes from my kitchen to yours. Have a good one. Bye-bye.